Okay, this episode of Dream Assassin is about Supernatural, the show. And I think I'm going to start out by saying that season 15, the final season, has come out. And I watched it over the last couple days. I watched it. And um, it, I knew I needed to make a video about it. And I don't even know what to say about it because I think it's still it's really definitely percolating but I think I'll start off at the beginning for me so 15 years ago <clears throat> I had just moved back to Edmonton and I remember flipping through the channels I remember you know with the remote like click 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 and and I, I stopped because I saw this person on the screen that made me think of Stéphane de Geer, who was um, uh, someone that I knew that died when uh, we were 17. I was 17 when he died. And and I'm flipping. So, so I'm, I stop because and, and, I see this person on the screen that... For some reason in my mind, I thought, I remember thinking at the time, oh, God, if he had had a chance to grow up, like finish growing up and, you know, turning, start turning into a man, you know, he would look like that. And I was like, what, Who, what, what? And it was Jensen Ackles. And um, I, I know I had seen him in other things before, but in this moment, I really don't remember if I remember that or if I knew who he was as an actor or anything, I just remember being like, Oh my God, I feel like I'm seeing Stefan. So I, I watched the episode and I don't remember what episode it was, but I remember watching it from that perspective of feeling like, Oh, I feel like I get, I, I get to see Steph, you know? And I was so like this about it. Like what? Whoa, what? You know, it was very, and so, but eventually, I want to say pretty quickly, I forgot about that. And and it just became about um, the characters and the storytelling that I fell in love with. And, and, uh, and it has been with me for 15 years. Supernatural has been with me for 15 years. And for a long time now, for quite a few years now, um, it's more like, it's more like this. So the way most people listen to music, you know, a lot of people just have music on in the house when they're doing whatever they're doing. Well, I would have shows instead of music most of the time. And, and so Supernatural, along with some other shows, became, this is what I've said about it. It's become part of the soundtrack of my life, this show. And so I watched season 15, the last season, and I was very aware, you know, like, oh, God, this is the last time I'm going to see the first episode of a, of a season for the first time, you know? like, And so... <laughs> And it's mind-boggling because I've had 15 years of, oh, when's the next season of Supernatural out? Or, you know, like, and so, so this is what happened. So I was watching, on the, this is the 23rd, so just a couple days ago, because today's Christmas Day. So on the 23rd, which I didn't realize was the 23rd, um, I was over at Lindsay's, where I am right now. <clears throat> she's at her parents and I was watching something on TV I don't even remember what it was and but I it was on Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime just kind of shut off it did I, I don't know I don't know what happened it just kind of stopped working and whatever and then and I was like huh hmm whenever stuff like that happens I tend to pause you know I feel like it's it's guidance from spirit to just no no just take a pause Take a pause because there's something here you need to see or feel or 
realize, you know. So I did. I took a little pause. And then as I was doing that, Amazon rebooted. Amazon Prime rebooted. And I'm looking at the screen. And I right on this side, I, I want to say the right side of the screen, a little tiny chunk of the supernatural like icon was right there. And I was like, oh, I wonder if season 15 is up. Because last time I checked, which was, I don't know when, it, it wasn't up. And it was. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. So I feel like, you know, the pause was to, it's time to switch gears and, and come, come this way. Come over here. So I clicked play. And I started watching. And... The first three episodes, I mean, there's gonna just going to be some spoilers here. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. So the first three episodes, I was judging. I was like, hmm, this isn't, I was disappointed, actually. And then, and then I was like, why am I disappointed? What is going on? What, 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 is this, what is this disappointment that I think I'm, I feel like I'm noticing here, you know? Because um, I'm not disappointed in my boys very often, <laughs> you know? And so, and it wasn't until today, really, that I realized the first three episodes are, like, the past. It's just remnants of the past coming back up for healing. And it in the show, it looked like old characters, um, old uh, villains old villains and foes that they had beaten but for some reason are now coming back up a little bit and that's that's a beautiful metaphor because that's that's what is happening for me that's what's happening for you know me Andrew and Marie there's that's what this is for there's this um there's space in the mind. There's space in the mind for things to come up, the past, for the past, for details from the past to come up so I can just touch it and see where I'm at with it and embrace it because it's there for healing. It's coming up because it's ready to be healed and let go of and set free. So... That was, it was like a metaphor for me watching these old villains and characters coming up that they thought they had dealt with, you know, and um, so they were coming up. What was left there was coming up to be dealt with and and as the this, this season continued, It was really nice, actually, because one of the things, one of the past things for Christine, for me, that were coming up was these patterns of thoughts of, oh, how is it going to end? How is the show going to end? And how am I going to feel as I'm watching it throughout the season? Like this deadly nostalgia and um, this this fear of loss at the end. Big time for me, right? This fear of loss at the end and... And not wanting to be like, like, oh, there's only six episodes left. Oh, my God. And I'm never going to have a, a, a brand new episode of Supernatural ever again. And But I didn't feel any of those things. I was just excited to get triggered and to watch the story unfold. And um, I wasn't sad that it was ending, which was like, whoa, I can't believe that's, I'm noticing that, that I'm not upset that it's ending after all these years, because it's been a mighty companion, this show is a mighty companion, in so many ways I could never even, I could never ever talk about all the ways that it's been a mighty companion for me, so here's an interesting thing, <laughs> fantastic it is so for me this show is so for me and I'll tell you why it's so fucking obvious and clear that it's for me okay so in season one 
There's an episode called Dead Man's Blood. Yes. Yeah, I think it's called Dead Man's Blood. Anyway, it's the episode where um, they they come they, they are dealing with this nest of vampires, and they're dealing with these vampires because they have the cult. So if you know the show, you know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a gun. It's a special gun that can kill anything. So um, it's pretty important to get this gun, right? Well, this nest of vampires captures a couple, a guy and a girl. And uh, they take them back to their nest and, of course, are using them for feeding, right? Well, they turn the girl into a vampire. They decide to turn her into a vampire. And get this. Okay. So, those of you who know me, my name is Christine Chatelaine. That's my full name. And the actor playing this character of this woman that they turn into a vampire, her name is Christine Chatelaine. <laughs> and the reason this is so, like, it's, it's so for me so in the very last episode of supernatural season 15 the very last episode um okay hold on i'm just gonna step back for a second throughout the season they they bring back old characters there's a lot to choose from because you know 14 years is a lot of characters so Throughout this, the last season, they bring up different, they bring different people back. And in the very last episode, Sam and Dean walk into a vampire's nest. And in my mind, I'm like, wait, that kind of looks like the nest from that episode in season one. And then before I know it, I'm looking at this actress named Christine Shadow. <laughs> so it's like I'm in the fucking episode. It is so weird. And and out of every character from all those 14 seasons they could have or brought back in the last episode, it's somebody named Christine Shadow. And it's graphic what happens. She gets her head chopped off. Boom. And um, I love that. I fucking love that. Because the thing that I'm doing here is unwinding the character in my mind. The beliefs and the judgments and the the fears, all the stuff, all the stuff that goes into the character that is Christine Chatelaine. The little self that I think that I am. That I smother over top of the thing that I really am, which is the Christ. Which is to say love. The actual experience of love, that's what I really am. And so my journey has been about seeing everything that isn't that. Everything that isn't Christ. Everything that isn't love. And I saw a character, a character named Christine Chatelaine get her head chopped off. So in my mind, it was this amazingly graphic metaphor Of the character losing its head. The character Christine. Dying. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's what the fear of death really is. For me. The character. The attachment to the character. That's dying. That's why it's uncomfortable. Because <clears throat> the thing that I really am. Is just forever. Uh, that the love that I know, the experience of love that I know that I am is forever. And so whatever belief that isn't forever, that isn't love, has to get chopped off. And so it, it was just so graphic and so 
it's so pure. So we're not going to fuck around here. We're not going to dilly dally. We're not going to hum and ha and be wishy washy about this. We're going to be clear. And this is, this is what clear looks like for me. Yeah, it's, uh, And years ago when I joined Facebook, uh, I want to say 13 years ago, no, 12 years ago, I joined Facebook and um, somebody, somebody thought I was her, this, this actress named Christine Chatelaine, because they got a hold of me on Facebook and said, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you since that movie that we did in Vancouver and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow, there must be an actor an actress named Christine Chatelaine, because somebody thinks that I'm her. And not only that, my picture is up. So we must sort of kind of look alike, at least enough for somebody to mistake me for her. And all these years later, there's this beautiful, shiny metaphor for the gra graphicness, the necessary graphicness. Is graphicness a word? Whatever. So I can see what's really going on here. Like I, I don't, I'm not good at sugarcoating and it, it's really painful when I sugarcoat or sidestep or am wishy-washy or I feel like I'm wishy-washy or unclear. It's really painful. So to experience something this graphic for me to see clearly is actually easier than the alternative. So I just really, I don't know what else there is to say about Supernatural. I mean, I, there's a lot, I think, <laughs> to share. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it right now, except I guess there, there is a scene where Amara and Chuck, and again, if you know the show, you know what I'm talking about. Amara and Chuck are talking. And she said, and I know it's not the exact writing that I'm remembering. I know I'm, yeah, I'm just, it's my own words coming out here because I don't remember what they are. But they're talking and someone is saying something like, you know, it was just us together, like together in the beginning. And then when we separated, we created this, like the world. That's what they were talking about. Because Amara, they're like the first anything. And so Amara and Chaka are the first anything. And, and it was just mind-boggling to me like what they were saying there because what I was hearing for myself was yeah as soon as the belief in separation from God occurred the world happened the world happened so as she's talking I'm like holy fuck that's that's the split mind that's the that's the belief in the separation from God and so yeah, it's deep. It is deep. <sighs> Thank you, Supernatural. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I think there's a part of me that's in a little bit of shock that it's over. That it's kind of over. But at the same time, yeah, okay, this is what I'm going to share. So last week, Marie and I were talking and I heard myself saying to her, you know, like Buffy, Buffy's one of the shows that is um, part of my soundtrack. And what I heard myself saying to her is it's so bizarre to me that Buffy is in my heart. Like Buffy is totally in my heart. And yet I can never remember what year the show ended. I can never remember. I always have to count on my fingers. And after all of these years, I mean, Buffy started in 1997. It's a long-ass time ago. 
And after all these years and all these all the times that I had to think about what what year it ended, it doesn't stay stay in there. It doesn't stay. And so it's in my heart and yet I can't remember that one detail. And what Marie translated it, she was like, "This is what I heard. I heard you say, you know, it, it's it's in it's it's in the heart. And there is no ending. There's no ending in the heart. It's eternity. It's forever. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, it was like this really strange way to for me to be reminded, of course you can't remember when it ended because there is no ending. And at the end of Supernatural, I, 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 like I find it weird to say that there's an end to Supernatural because the way they wrapped up this series is just like, It's the forever. It's the love and the forever that are together. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you for Supernatural. Thank you, thank you, thank you.